Ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, the last Nintendo Direct that we got is one of the best Nintendo Directs for the Switch that we ever got, and it seems like that just happened. But if you had to ask me, I'd say there's another Nintendo Direct coming very, very soon. And in this video, I'll be telling you why and a couple things that I expect. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So if you didn't watch my video yesterday, um, I almost died like two days ago uh, in a freak accident and I have all these stitches in my mouth and in my tongue so it's really hard for me to talk. I'm still pretty weak. Please forgive me if I'm like a little out of it or uh, not high energy or anything. Um, like I said, I have stitches all in my mouth so it really hurts to talk. I'm going to try to articulate my thoughts the best I can. This video is about a Nintendo Direct that we could potentially be getting very very soon and I'm really excited. So before we get started, if you could hit a like and subscribe, it would truly mean the world to me. And let's just get right into it. So I can't remember off the top of my head, but I would say probably June we just got a Nintendo Direct. It seemed like every single announcement was amazing, or something major, or something you wouldn't expect. I mean, we got a Zelda game, a Donkey Kong game, a Mario & Luigi game, a Mario Party game, I'm sure some other stuff that I'm missing, a special edition Switch Lite, and a few other things. Like, it, it was so crazy. And then it felt like it was a good way to wrap up the Switch. You're like, yeah, it can't get better than this. And then Nintendo announced a couple other things. Like we got that Emio game coming this month. But when you look at the calendar moving forward, there are a couple gaps for a couple months. And I think that's what this next Nintendo Direct will be. Like they just showed us a new Echoes of Wisdom trailer two days ago or something. And it was very promising. But I think we get a new Nintendo Direct in September. They'll show off Zelda a little bit more on that. And then we should get a bunch more announcements. A Strange Game just leaked out a few days ago, and it is an open world Patrick Star game. And I think they will show that off in the Nintendo Direct, because every time there's been a Spongebob game on the Switch, it's shown up in a Nintendo Direct presentation. And the release date for that game has leaked out for October 4th. So showing it off in a Nintendo Direct a month before, it's perfect timing. As of right now, I think we have games for November and Dude, I'm sorry, my mouth hurts so bad. I have stitches underneath my tongue, and not only does that hurt, but the stitches are like poking into my mouth. So when I talk or move my tongue a certain way, it's just incredibly painful. But in November we have Mario Party or the Mario & Luigi game, and then in January we have Donkey Kong. So what about December? This is arguably one of Nintendo's most important holiday seasons ever. They just put out their financial report, and then they had all these goals for the Switch, and they're trying to break all these records. But in the financial report, they actually underperformed. I think the Switch still sold more Switch consoles than the PS5 sold in the same amount of time. Like they both sold 2 million consoles, but the Switch sold like a little bit more, which is it's so crazy to say. Or maybe just right under the PS5. But they still underperformed, and the only way I think they can actually hit these goals without delaying the Switch 2 again is a price drop. So in this next Nintendo Direct, I could see them doing a price drop for the holidays or some kind of insane bundle. Like, the Switch OLED will go down to the Switch's price. I think the Switch is $300 and the Switch OLED is $350. I could see them dropping the Switch OLED down from $350 to $300 and including a game and dropping down the Switch from $300 to $250 and including a game. If they drop the Switch Lite down to $150 and include a game, that would be insane. Like, if they just take every Switch model Decrease the price by $50 and bundle it with a game, I could see them selling like 5 million consoles in December alone. Another thing I can see them announcing at this Nintendo Direct is Nintendo Selects. One of the worst things about the Switch, this late in its life, is games are still fully priced. If I want to go pick up Breath of the Wild, which was a launch game for the Switch, and I go to GameStop, or I go to Walmart, or I go to Target, it's $60. Same thing for Mario Kart, and just every big game that's been out for multiple years. It's still fully priced. So imagine, at the next Nintendo Direct, if they bring back Nintendo Selects, which they've done for every single console prior. I didn't have a Wii U, but I'm pretty sure I've seen Wii U cases that look like something Nintendo Selects related. They should do it for the Switch, especially if the Switch 2 is going to be backwards compatible. Sell a bunch of Switch games, it makes people who own the Switch very happy, it makes people who are getting the Switch 2 very happy, and it's a win-win for everybody, the consumers and the business. This Nintendo Direct would be the perfect time to announce that, announce that it's coming back holiday season, maybe start around Black Friday, and then moving forward they just continue to have it. Even if they do it for only 20 games, that would be amazing. 
But regardless of doing these bundles and these price drops, we still need a major game released for December. Even though it's a possibility that Switch 2 could be delayed again, I still have my hopes set for March. So if it's coming out March, they would need to start pre-orders around Christmas. So at the end of a Nintendo Direct, put a date up on the screen uh, that says, I don't know, that says like December 26th, 2024, or 27th, 2024. And then that day comes, they at least give us a name and like a quick 30 second glance and announce pre-orders are going live that day or something. Because of the consoles coming out in March, we need to have pre-orders at least three or four months before that, and then they can work out how many consoles need to go wherever. So to sum up what I expect to see at this next Nintendo Direct, I basically see this next presentation as putting a bow on everything. Like the Switch came, it conquered, it exceeded everybody's expectations, I'm sure even Nintendo's. We got some of the best first party games of all time, so let's put a bow on it, let's wrap it up show off a couple more games, make some new bundles, and drop the prices of the consoles, bring Nintendo Selects back, and give us a date for the Switch 2 presentation. And yeah, that would be perfect. As we inevitably get closer to that Nintendo Direct, I'll make like a real prediction video because I'm sure we'll have a bunch of leaks come out before then. But regardless, I'm very excited because I think this would be the last Nintendo Direct for the Nintendo Switch. I've seen something on Twitter and it was showing like the past seven or eight years for Nintendo, there's always been a Direct in September. So I think that's inevitable. But what do you expect to see at this presentation? Do you think it's some leftover stuff Nintendo has in the vault? Or do you think it's gonna be some major announcements, some Switch 2 stuff? I would seriously love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could, I'd really appreciate a follow. And please forgive me if you can, like it's really hard for me to talk and I'm slurring my words and I keep drooling and stuff. So hopefully in the next week or two, I should be back to normal. So yeah, thanks for bearing with me and you guys know me, I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out.